Even before the final votes were tallied, Dow futures had started plunging to crisis levels. Asian markets were in freefall, and investors in Europe were comparing the U.S. election to Great Britain's sudden exit from the European Union. The initial reaction overnight was what you would expect. It was very similar to how Brexit played out, a very sharp fall in the markets. Although U.S. stock prices recovered quickly, some economists say the impact of a Donald Trump presidency on the U.S. economy is bound to be substantial. We spoke with economist Gus Fauché on Skype. We're, we're talking about the entire economy. I mean, we're talking about the labor force in terms of what happens to immigration. We're talking about exports and imports in terms of what happens to trade and how that has an effect on consumers. Uh, you know, we're talking about health care with the, the potential repeal of the Affordable Care Act. Aside from the potential repercussions to international trade, VOA market reporter Jill Melandrino says winners include energy and financial stocks. Commodity prices could also see a boost. And that's because Trump has pledged to invest significantly in infrastructure, and that bodes well for copper and other mined commodities. Protectionism is expected to rise, and the U.S. is already short steel, and falling imports will improve domestic pricing power. Until the president-elect fills in the details of his economic plan, longer-term concerns include the unchecked power of a new president with a big majority in both houses of Congress. In the short run, the surprise outcome could put the Federal Reserve's plan to raise interest rates on hold. We've seen declines in stock prices. We've seen increased volatility in the wake of the election. I think that if we still have those by the time the Fed meeting comes, around in, in mid-December, they're likely to hold off on raising rates and wait till things settle down. Global markets may be bumpy for some time, but VOA's Melandrino says investors would be wise to take a deep breath. There will be significant pressure for Trump to start to clarify some of his policy intentions, after which we may see a recovery as we did with Brexit. And at the end of the day, corporate America is very adaptable. Millar Sega, VOA News, Washington.